Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D quick tip I want to show you how you can work with watch folders. Now what is a watch folder? Basically a watch folder is a folder on your drive and I named mine my watch folder and now let's connect this to the asset browser. I'm just gonna open it up here and then I go to databases connect watch folder and now the open dialog pops up I just select the folder that I want and click open. And now you can see that we have my watch folder connected. We have the renders here. We have all the scenes here with previews and everything. And if you connect a watch folder for the first time, rendering the previews might take a few moments, but here they are rendered and we can work with these scenes, with the textures and so on. Now let's see what happens if I change something in here. So let's, for example, create a copy of the donut C4D file like so. And now you can see that there is a donut 2 file in my watch folder and also it already appeared here in the asset browser. It takes a few moments to render the preview but now it is there and you can also see with this icon that this is a scene using Redshift as the renderer. Now if it takes longer for the asset browser to update you can always manually trigger the update by going to databases and reload databases. Also, if you want to disconnect the database, you can always go to the databases manager up here and here you see my watch folder. You can temporarily disconnect and reconnect it by clicking that folder icon. So now it's disconnected, now it's connected again and you can also just make it invisible or visible. And if you want to remove the watch folder completely, you right click it and go to remove database. I don't want to do that for now and I want to close the databases section here because I want to show you another thing. So here you can see that the scene table with decoration is open and there's also a watch folder called table with decoration. And this is a so-called project watch folder. By default, every Cinema 4D file will have a project watch folder that is linking to the project's text folder. And you can define that in the project settings. The shortcut for that would be Control or Command D. And you can also find it under Edit Project Settings. And in here, there is an asset browser section that you can unfold. And here you can define if you want to connect the project watch folder at all. This is on a per project basis. And you can also define the relative path. So if you don't want the text folder to be the relative path, but the project folder, you just delete everything in here. And now you can see that once I click the watch folder, that we have the project file in here and also all the other project files that would potentially be in that folder and also the text folder. So I can double click it now and here I have all the textures. Just in case you don't want that functionality at all, you can always go to Edit Preferences and in the Asset Browser section there's also a Projects as Watch Folders checkbox that you can untick or also keep ticked depending on your preference. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.